Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Merrick here. I'm um, back with another daily chess puzzle video. Um, this is day a hundred, no, day two hundred and one of posting each other every day for a year. And this one is black to move. White just played G takes F3, capturing the rook. And so please pause the video here. Black to move, as I said, and comment down below what you think the answer. Okay. Um, so we should notice that White's king is pretty weak. And we have this knight here that um, is ready to pounce at any moment. So we have a couple options. Queen takes h3 or queen takes f3. And to decide which is best, we have to take into consideration um, where our knight is going to go. The best square for our knight is knight h4. Since it controls the g2 square and it attacks the f3 pawn. So we want to bring our knight to h3. I mean h4. But if I play queen takes f3, white will play queen c4, um, defending against knight h4. So if knight h4, there's queen takes h4, obviously. And if rook c4, if we try to um, take control of the d4 square, white can even play queen c3 on um, threatening an exchange. And white at least has a draw after this. So we have nothing else better to do. So that is why queen takes h3 is the right answer. After queen takes h3, queen c4 does not work anymore. Since after knight h4, um, we are attacking f3 and threatening mate in one on g2. So queen g4 is the only move. And after knight takes f3 check, queen takes f3, queen takes f3. We are up um, a queen for a rook and a bishop. And we are up also a bunch of pawns. But the most important thing is that our rook is coming to d4, and white's position is very, um, not safe. So, in the puzzle, white plays rook e4, um, trying to stop knight h4. So the idea is, is that after knight h4, white will play rook takes h4, queen takes h4, and white has a bishop, uh, extra bishop. So, um, even if we try to, let's say, um, let's say white just goes here, even if we try to attack uh, the white king, white can just play bishop g3 and have a pretty safe king side. So this is why, um, instead of knight h4, we play rook d4, attacking the rook and um, threatening to exchange the rooks and then play knight h4. So rook a e1 defends the rook on e4, and now we play knight h4. Since um, we're still threatening the same exact threats, mate and taking on f3, but after rook takes h4, we can recapture with the rook this time. Attacking the bishop on h2, and if the bishop moves out of the way, we have maiden 1, queen h1, checkmate. And um, otherwise, uh, we are just going to capture the bishop. Let's say after rook e4, queen takes h2, check, king f1. And we can even play just rook takes e4, takes queen h1, check, king e2, queen takes e4, check, where we will be up three pawns, and this will be a pretty easily won endgame. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this puzzle. And uh, I will see you in day 100, no, sorry, day 202.